Okay, I'm back. After all that nonsense, I'm back. Now let's track this. <clears throat> this way. Okay. What nonsense. First I have to disinfect my foot because my cat scratched it. And I'm about to go do that. <laughs> my freaking mic dies, so I have to restart my whole setup. How nice. <clears throat> here we go. Old Gambler's Wood. We were here before. Got you. Back off. Will you enter the ghost of Iki? <laughs> Fugu? Enough. That's Fugu. <clears throat> I'm looking for the ghost. You and half the island. But we found him first. This little rat shit owes us a fortune. He owes me more. One day, boy. Then we start snipping off toes. Huh? <clears throat> so you're the hero everyone's okay. talking about. Oh, oh, oh no. I, I'm not the ghost. But I do work for him. There we were, fighting to save Iki Island, when those dead fox bandits attacked us. <clears throat> the ghost prisoner. <sighs> Where do they take him? Their camp, just west of here. I've got one day to pay them back. No, stay out of trouble. I will find your master. I have some hmm. questions for the ghost of Iki. Well, guys, I don't know what you're talking about. People are saying the quality is bad. Everything's fine on my end. Excellent condition. Full bit rate. Zero drop frames. So if it is an issue, it's a YouTube side issue. And I apologize for that. It sounds like YouTube may be screwing up. It's happened before. <clears throat> I really sadly have no control over that. So whoever is impersonating the ghost got kidnapped by bandits. And basically what they're doing is they're having other people be blackmailed to have him freed by having them pay up big time. So all we gotta do is rescue this guy who's been impersonating and uh, we'll be okay. <clears throat> there he is. We got one, two, three, four, five. What? Oh shit. Hiding again. <laughs> Humiliating yourself for the people who killed your father. Okay then. <clears throat> okay. What am I having for dinner? Uh tonight? Anything? Like it's one of those nights where we don't have anything set. I'm probably just gonna have like a sandwich and some macaroni salad. Something quick. Normally, we would have had a meal planned for every day. But because my wife's work schedule got screwed up this week, as I've explained on pre-stream, we ended up having more days set than we thought. So we don't have anything planned, like, for a meal. So I'm just going to whip something together. I don't even know what I'm going to have. Maybe roast beef or something. I don't know. Right in the brain. How exactly does your does your hand knife pierce the guy's skull? <laughs> it's interesting. Pretty sharp knife if that's if that's the case. Okay. Alright. All right. <clears throat> so who is it? You? Lord Sakai, get me oh out my of here. god! I'm pretending to be the ghost. <laughs> A respectful tribute. Respectful? Of course it's Kenji. I should have known you were behind this. I'm sorry, Lord Sakai. Oh my god. There's mongols everywhere. I, I couldn't take it anymore. Wow. Then I heard this icky smuggler was prepping a one way trip to the mainland. I had to get out. And you didn't say goodbye. You're always so busy. If you were so eager to escape, how did you end up like this? I got caught sneaking aboard the smuggler's ship. When word got out that I was stranded on Iki, some very bad locals hunted me down. Tried to rob me. Did you rob them first? Skimmed <laughs> profits and Sarasaka never hurt anybody. Oh my god. So you're the most hated man on Iki. 
Half the island wants you dead, the other half you owe money. Am I close? Lucky guess. <laughs> that doesn't explain the ghost act. The people here hate me. But as the ghost, I could inspire the locals, rob the lowlifes, and... and... And buy your way to the mainland. Everybody wins! I should leave. Let you deal with this mess. <laughs> uh, but the ghost wouldn't do that, right? <clears throat> uh. Hold still. Oh, of course. You gotta help him. Uh, of course. Arms are still asleep. Wake them up. I'll escort you to the campsite. But that's it. Out the back. Out the back that I cleared. <clears throat> Blog comments to the two dollar super chest. Do I use a crock pot? It's good to cook meals. Uh, yes. It's not an official crock pot. It's some other brand. But yes, I have a crock pot to do slow cooker stuff. Oh. Are you going to get on? What the hell? He's not going to get on. Seriously. He's not getting on. Why aren't you getting on the horse? Well, fine. Run alongside the horse then, stupid. <laughs> he refuses to get on the horse so we can ride away to safety. <clears throat> wow. When was the last time we used the crock pot? Um, two weeks ago, we did a slow cooker tortellini soup that cooked for several hours. Yeah, a couple, a couple weeks ago. Chicken Man has tipped me $1.50 and he says, Wendy's is a new big bacon cheddar cheeseburger coming in September with a cheddar cheese crusted bun. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. <clears throat> that just sounds so amazing. I just love it when not only does my burger have cheese slathered on it, and it probably likely it'll have cheddar cheese slices, cheddar cheese sauce, right? And then cheddar cheese on the bun. Maybe there'd be cheddar infused in the bacon, too. Why not, right? Maybe cheddar cheese inside the patty. That's American eating for you. <clears throat> All right, Ghost of Iki. You're on your own. Wait, wait, wait. You can't leave me here. <laughs> Everyone on this island is out to get me. What about your recruit? You met Hugo. Is he all right? He nearly lost his head trying to pay your ransom. <sighs> He's just a fisherman. The kid needs me. Help me find Fugu, and I'll be out of your hair, I promise. Oh. <laughs> you better be close. We agreed on a meeting place nearby, in case we were split up. Lead the way. I thought you only had eyes for Tsushima. What brings you to Iki? I came here with my father once. Years ago. Never thought I'd return. When I heard something terrible was happening here, <coughs> I couldn't ignore it. Wish I'd known about those rumors. All I heard was Iki is safe. Not a Mongol in sight. That's <laughs> it. Snowcrawl feels that cheddar is a lame cheese and that people should like other cheeses. Essentially, and I say essentially, um, basically I think that cheddar is good. I do. I think that cheddar it's is better yours. than American. At the same time, there's definitely other cheeses people should venture out and try that, not instead of just cheddar constantly. I almost drowned, but Fugu pulled me from the sea. I tried to ditch him, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> he couldn't resist your charms. <laughs> Few can, my lord. Blender Bottle, I believe this DLC is supposed to take place after the end of the storyline. So whether you spare your uncle or kill him... This happens after. They explained it by saying that this was an isolated island uh, away from Tsushima that had its own deal going on with a different Mongol leader called the Eagle who didn't necessarily go under the rule of Kublai Khan. Um, basically did her own thing. And so the, all the, the that's why all the Mongols on this island are slightly different and everything. Um, when you first arrived and you talk to the Eagle, you tell her that Kublai Khan is dead. So I guess, yeah, that happened in the plot. So, yeah, I do think this is a post-game DLC. <clears throat> right, Snow Carl. He's like Italian, Swiss, French cheese. Right. P provolone, I love provolone cheese. It's smoked flavor. Really good. Swiss, Swiss goes much better with certain meats, I feel, than cheddar. Like, I would rather eat ham and Swiss than ham and cheddar. I think that Swiss goes way better with it. Um, Monterey Jack or Pepper Jack, 
Oh, those are really good cheeses. A good spicy flavor kicks anything up a notch that you're eating it with. It's me! I knew you'd escape, Master! The ghost lives to fight again! Hey, enough with the ghost talk, Hugu. You can <laughs> call me Kenji. <clears throat> My friend here is the ghost. Oh, I see. Well, oh. someone called the Viper has a message for the ghost. The, that's for me. You're the Viper. The Viper of Hakata Bay? He's the <laughs> smuggler I told you about. The one with the ship ready to sail for the mainland? I tried sneaking on board, but he caught me. Now I owe him a small fortune if I want to keep my head and get off this island. Then we better meet him and sort this out. You're going to help me? The ghost of Iki is going to help himself. I want to meet the smuggler who spent the last 20 years evading samurai capture. <clears throat> uh... My horse. <laughs> What's my opinion on the most addictive food? The most addictive foods are the ones that are junk foods that are e too easy to make and too accessible. They're cheap, but they're bad for you. You know? You're sitting there eating a whole bag of chips, right? Chips is what? What, $2 for a large bag? But you could sit there and eat the whole thing. It's insanely bad for you. You know, that kind of shit. Anything high in saturated fats and stuff, but easily accessible, that's going to be... That's the killer stuff. That's the heart, heart disease stuff. I had to trade him to the Viper as collateral. I hope he's all right. Lord Shimura's been hunting the Viper for years. You're lucky he didn't take one of your hands when you tried to sneak aboard his ship. He was about to chop off other things, but I convinced him to save me a seat to the mainland. All he took was handing over Miko and promising to pay ten times the asking price. <laughs> You should know, the Viper doesn't like people like us. People like us? You know, tough guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's so funny? <sighs> Nothing. Well, whatever you do, don't push him. This doesn't have to get ugly. What's that? Look what I just found. What the heck? Is this another one of these Easter egg shrines? The Bloodstained Shrine? What is this? The first green of spring sickens to black, decaying. Plagued by blood and beast, hunter reject death's allure. Prepare to duel man's frailty. A blood-stained tonka. <clears throat> really? And if you walk up here, there's a bunch of bodies hanging bleeding Well, when I think of blood or blood stained, I think like blood like blood stained beast, blood blood starved beast, right? Bloodborne. <clears throat> That's what I think. Uh hmm. Now the last one you had to do something and pose in front of the statue. But I don't know how to do that with this one. I don't know. Looks like a blood moon with a bunch of birds flying through it, right? <clears throat> so I think it's a Bloodborne reference, much like there was a God of War reference. But I don't know what to do. Does anyone know what the Easter egg is you're supposed to do here at this Bloodborne shrine? I was not expecting a Bloodborne Shrine, but that is true. That is a Sony exclusive, right? <clears throat> hmm. Equip the Kensei armor, take damage, and then heal yourself in front of the statue. Really? Thank you, uh, Adriano, for that. Let's see if we can figure this out. <clears throat> I don't know if the, you have to change the mask. I don't see a Kensei mask, so probably not.
Okay. Now, how would I take damage? Right? Maybe an explosive at my feet or something? But can you hurt yourself with your own explosives? Can I shoot maybe a fire arrow at my own feet? Or an explosive arrow at my own feet? <clears throat> no. No. There we go. Aha! Cool. A bloodborne Easter egg. Look at this. Whoa, look at that outfit. Yarnum Helm. Yarnum from Bloodborne. A straw hat of a ronin from a world of blood. And the Yarnum vestments. Armor, armor adorned with feathers plucked from the last great hunter. Well, that was freaking cool. Look at this. Whoa. Sweet. Now the question is, what does this armor do? Because I don't remember. <clears throat> Major agrees to resolve. Ghost weapons deal more damage. Strike an enemy with a ghost weapon causes the enemy to deal 25% less damage. Yeah, it's a ghost armor outfit. It looks sick. It does look really good. I like that very, very much. Block comments in the Super Chats. Ever had turkey meat chili? Good pot cooker. Um, I'm trying to remember if my wife ever made it with turkey meat. We've had her homemade chili before with beef and lean beef. I don't know if we've ever done it with turkey. We use ground turkey in a lot of stuff like tacos and other things that we would use beef in normally. So I know how tur ground turkey can be very flavorful if you season it right. Ghost of Carl to me, $4.20. He said, good luck in the DLC. I have my own journey to go through Sticky Icky Island right now. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Thank you to Ghost of Carl on the Sticky Icky Island. I appreciate the tip. Thank you. Well, that is sweet. That is definitely sweet. Bloodborne armor. Although, admittedly, I'm going to switch back to what I had. Uh, but that's cool. I like that. Okay. Actually, is that what I had on my face? I don't think so. What the hell did I have on my face? I think I switched it by accident. <clears throat> No, it is. Sarugami's Mall. That's what I had. There's the Spartan. That's the new one, but now nah, we'll go with the Sarugami's Mall. Okay. Cool. Well, that was completely unexpected. Stumbling upon a Bloodborne altar. Where are we right now on the map? Okay, an area I hadn't been to before, which explains why I found it. There's got to be more. If we got God of War and Bloodborne, you got to think what other exclusives. There's Uncharted. There's Ratchet and Clank. There's uh, probably Horizon Zero Dawn, right? There's probably quite a few different ones that will be referenced as these secret altars. <clears throat> okay. TX Shooter 50 just did a super chat and asked, Do I like the Tomb Raider games? Well, the original ones on the PS1 were classics. Today, they're very dated and not very fun. But back then, they actually innovated a lot of things, like the whole platforming around cave walls and looking for secrets and treasure. All that was back th that, that back then. That was the first time it was ever done. Um, the modern ones, I actually did like the reboot, original Tomb Raider, but then the sequels weren't very good, in my opinion. I think the reboot was actually the better one, and then the, uh, the, the, the two sequels were just kind of meh, not great. <clears throat> Wait here, Fugu. Yes, go. I mean, Master <laughs> Kenji. Okay. Time to fuck their shit up. Now, let's see. I want to make sure I got everything equipped. Heavy arrow. Oh, uh, let's do... Sticky Icky Bomb. The Viper's Den. It's me, Kenji, the ghost of Iki. <clears throat> We're here to see the Viper. Be calm, Kenji. And don't talk too much. Who? Me? The... Where is my money? You must be the Viper of Hakata Bay. Who is the muscle, Kenji? He's a friend. 
Jin Sakai. Sakai. <laughs> Had a run-in with your father once. Never got the feeling back in my little finger. Oh, shit. <laughs> Cannot say I mourn him. My father made enemies, but they're not mine. Good. Old grudges are bad for business. How did this runt recruit a son? <laughs> Kenji said he tried to sneak about your son. <clears throat> he regrets the insult. That's me, stupid, disrespectful Kenji. Now he owes you a small fortune. A big fortune. If you came to negotiate, you are wasting my time. If you're holding out for money, it's going to take Kenji a year to pay you back. That is his problem. And yours. You need payment today to fund your journey. And whether the Mongol invasion lower Kenji's payment. And we can settle up now. Or wait. And hope he survives long enough to pay you back in full. <sighs> you have got a smart friend, Kenji. I think we can work something out, Lord Sakai. Those Eagle Tribe bastards stole my navigation charts. Maps of every smuggling route between China and Hakata Bay. You need them to reach the mainland. That is right. And if the Mongols break my code, they will learn every weakness in the Shogun's fleet. That sounds very bad. We can recover these charts. If you grant Kenji passage to the mainland. You have yourself a deal. Keep an <clears throat> eye on Kenji. Okay. Trouble sticks to him like shit on rice. Now, where is this Mongol camp? About the center of the map, but we haven't actually been there yet. Okay. <clears throat> yes, Obi Gaming, that's correct. So far, I found the God of War and the Bloodborne Easter eggs. I have not found any further Easter eggs, although since we found first. two, you gotta assume there's probably like four us. or five in this now DLC, right? <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Let's ride. I think I pulled something when those bandits tied me up. <laughs> Maybe I should rest up while Kugel helps you rob the Mongols. He's just a fisherman, Kenji. He saved your life. I know. If you want to act like a ghost, stop using people. And start <laughs> thinking how you can help them. So, just so people know, because I know people ask me all the time about haptic feedback, because this is the PS5 version. Every footstep of the horse, you can feel very You're mild haptic feedback. And when this is happening to Vision, the whole controller just vibrates that when that happens. The Sakai <clears throat> name will vanish from the earth. Your life means nothing. It even vibrates a little when she talks. <sighs> Stop it. Back there with the viper. I didn't know you were such a smooth talker. I spent most of my life helping Lord Shimura settle disputes among samurai families. Sounds boring. <laughs> Sometimes, but wield it carefully. The right word strikes deeper than the sharpest blade. Beautiful purple forest over there. See it? What do we have here? What the heck? What happened? More guards than I expected. Maybe I should do it. Anything goes wrong, I'll give a what signal. Is the most no, screaming much. Another vision? Whoa. To act like a man and fight oh. for the legacy of Clan Sakai. Those are your father's words. What does honor mean? Kindness. Fighting for people who can't defend themselves. That is the true meaning of honor. Lord Shimura. An interesting, uh, interesting vision right there, right? Okay. We'll continue on now. Wait, this is not my horse. Wait, where's my horse? Here. He disappeared. Derek, welcome to the stream. And yes, we talked a little bit. I guess this happened live during the pre-stream. Ed Asner passed away, which is really sad. Ed Asner is a very long-standing actor uh, and also voice actor for various cartoons and, and movies and television shows. 
Uh, you know, I know him from many different things over the years, quite frankly. It would be hard for me to even put my finger on one thing because he's done so much. Great. Whoa, wait a minute. Have a sticky bomb. That worked. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Well, that was bad. Knocked me on my fucking ass. Holy shit! Wrong arrow. I want a regular arrow, not fire arrow. Jeez. What a bully. <laughs> nice. Look at his body. Ugh, it landed perfectly there. Wow, those regular arrows don't do shit against that helmet. Their moon by stars. Oh, there's a spear guy or a heavy. I can't tell. Ha! Game on. Parry and instant execution. Oh, you fuckers. Oh, is that a shaman? Hold on. That's not what I wanted. God damn it, these arrows don't do shit. Enjoy. <laughs> damn, I blew him the fuck up. Alright. I got smoke bombs? That's what I'm gonna use then. He died. Damage over time. I don't even got them all. Did there be more? Or did I get them all? I guess that big spear guy was actually the guy who kicked me out of the building. I think we got them all now. Okay. That was interesting. The the uh, the guy booting me out was kind of cool. navigation charts. <clears throat> Time to go. That's it. We got what we wanted. The navigation charts, I guess. Oh look, a Sakai banner. Nice. So if you remember. You need those to get better horse colors. Horse armor colors, you need the banners. Yeah, see? New saddle available, return to the monk. So we can get a new a new saddle, and I believe also colorations is based off of those banners. So that's what we're trying to find them for. Black powder bomb. Okay. We're good.
And Asner voiced Carl in Up. Gotcha. Yeah, Ed Asner, I told you. Ed Asner voiced a lot of cartoons. I remember him voicing uh, characters in, like, uh, uh, Freakazor. In the 1990s, I believe, he, he played characters. I've got it. Let's go. Okay. Krispy Kreme Knight <clears throat> tipped me $2 and says... Dr. Disrespect is taking Twitch to court while well, be joining in the case. No. It's not. It's not do First of all, let's be honest. You guys don't understand how it works. Just because someone is suing someone doesn't mean you can join in. That's not how it works. If someone decides to file what's called a class action lawsuit, where you feel that there's enough people who are under the similar situation that they could all join in on the litigation, then you could join in. It's If he's just doing a personal lawsuit, you can't just join in his lawsuit. Like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <clears throat> okay. Being that he was terminated completely from Twitch while I wasn't, it's actually a different legal situation as well. So I wouldn't be able to join in. Even if he did a class action lawsuit saying people who were terminated from Twitch, I wasn't. I just had my partnership contract terminated. So it's different. It's a completely different situation. All right. Just in time. Okay. Good work. Everything is here. We'll just need a few minutes to check my maps. Then we set sail. What about the people we sent ahead of us? Hmm? Settled on board, but we are at capacity. Have to dump all expendable cargo. There's only room for one more passenger. Ready to set sail, Kenji? When do we leave? Soon. We wait for no one. Reza doing business with you. Lord Sakai. And you? Sure you don't want in? I could hide you in one of my sake barrels. It's a tight squeeze, but with a little cooking oil, those narrow hips. Uh... <laughs> I'll pass. I'm not finished here yet. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Keep some of your best sake chill for Yes, Kenji, get the hell off the island before you cause more over. problems. <laughs> I'd like that. Yeah, <laughs> only fear of death is. Stream chat oh, apparently thinks that lawsuits are like tag team wrestling where you can tag in and out. You get something, <laughs> Master? Yeah, my common sense. <sighs> Take my seat on the ship. You earned it. But, Master... Get moving before I change my mind. I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> I'll scrape by. The Fugu, I didn't like his chances. It's better this way. Besides, you didn't think you'd get rid of me that easily, did you? I'm not that lucky. <laughs> this calls for a drink. To the ghost of Iki. To forgetting all about him. The ghost of Iki. That was a, a cool little mini plot line. It wasn't very long, but it was fun. And to see Kenji come back for a few missions was kind of neat. I liked that. All right, Derek, I'll see you for Microsoft Flight Simulator tonight. Sounds good. <clears throat> Very nice. Uh, Charm of Perfect Landing. Gain resolve after successfully performing a safe landing. Really? That's kind of silly, honestly. What's this new location? Huh? What? <laughs> it said it added a new location, but it didn't at all. There's nothing here. Look. Unless there's... Okay, maybe this... Maybe this is, uh, the new one? I don't know. There's the Bloodstained Shrine. See, we haven't been to any of this southwestern part of the map yet. There very well could be interesting stuff over there. There's also another island here we haven't been to, a little one. Well, if you take a look, there's really nothing else to do. If I wanted to explore the southwestern region, I could. You gotta assume the story is eventually gonna take us there. Um... I know that we can get another saddle if we want. I don't remember where that is on the map, though. Aha! New har ar horse armor die available. Return to Subaki to get a new horse armor die. We could do that if we want. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. We'll probably do that. And then... Likely, we'll do the next story mission, which is to take... I guess you go here, you try to storm the base again, which we failed at the first time miserably. 
Let's uh, let's get a new hard horse armor die though, since we qualified for it. No, my neck is not struggling, Snow Carl. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Once again, you seem to be making mountains out of molehills, which is not a new thing for you. <laughs> yes, as you can tell, every five seconds I'm like, oh, oh my neck, oh, 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 oh my neck, my back, oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> I found some Sakai banners for your work. I remember seeing those banners when the samurai first arrived. I was with my older brother. Our parents were busy getting ready to help the raiders' defense. They told us to hide inland, but we were bored. So Jube and I climbed the mountain and I looked out to sea. At first there was nothing. Then, just before sunrise, the samurai ships appeared in the fog. I grabbed my brother's hand. Squeezed it so hard, my nails bit into his skin, but he didn't say a word. Funny. I haven't thought about that day in years. Maybe more banners will stir your memory. I hope not. <laughs> Here, I have some dye left over that should suit your horse nicely. Blood on your hands. Purchase an item from the Crimson Dye Merchant and obtain a dye for your Sakai horse armor. So the two different colors. Midori Spring. I like that. Can we equip that? There it is. Midori Spring. Oh, that's actually quite good. I like that. I'll equip that. Uh, what other ones are there? Yellow Chrysanthemum. Whoa, that's bright. Brilliant Dawn. These are all pretty nice, actually. Whoa. Soul of the Hotaru and Sunset of the Kuge. This is the standard. All right, we'll go with the Midori Spring. I like that. Okay. So we're done for now. Now I think we should do the main story. I do. I think we should, uh, we should focus. I keep pressing the wrong effing button. <laughs> keep doing it. Yeah, we should do the main story. So let's fast travel to the Karayama Market, and then we'll head due north to the base and see if we can storm it. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, that is correct. See, King Ferb says, when you have neck pains like that, you should invest in Life Alert. Exactly. I definitely need to start investing in uh, in things to save my life. At a moment's notice, you never know when your neck will just spontaneously snap in half and go limp, and now you're, you're paralyzed. You're absolutely right. In which case, in which case, Life Alert wouldn't help because I wouldn't be able to touch it because I'd be paralyzed. So, you know. People are ridiculous. Anyway. Okay, Derek. Well... Even when you can make it to the stream tonight, I'll see you then, all right? Yeah. Sounds good. Go to the Black Swordsman said he's enjoying the streams of this DLC so far. Yeah, definitely we got to advance the plot, because at this point, as you see, no, no other major side quests are available. So we've got to do something here to push the plot forward, or else we're not going to make any progress. We could, we could just wander the island, but I think I'd rather do a little bit of story. I missed a super chat. Did I? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> there. Okay. Shooter McGavin did a super chat and he says, what if you took sponsorships from things like Lord VPN? I don't even know what that is. Uh, as I've told you guys, the only way I would ever accept a sponsorship is if it's something that I 100% believe in myself. And I, I, I back because I, maybe I personally have used it and I like it. Or maybe it's something I already use. Like, for example, right now, if Crystal Light contacted me and said, Phil, we hear that you drink Crystal Light mix on your on your stream sometimes and you like it. We'd like to have a sponsorship with you. I'd say, yeah, I, I use your product. I like it. I stand behind it. Right? Right now, if Hori 
contacted me again, like they did, uh, you know, about a year and a half ago. And said, hey, we got a new joystick that we'd like to send you for a demo for you to try out. And see if you like it. And if you do, we'd like you to, you know, maybe do some advertising for it or whatever. And if they did send it to me and I liked it, you know, okay. But I'm not going to just take a paycheck for something that I don't know if I like or would like. That's not who I am. I'm not going to just say, oh, I'm paid advertisement for the sake of taking money. That's not how I am. That's not who I am. Um, I've never been like men. that at all. I can free them if I cut down the What you got to understand is, oh, look. What you got to understand is that as someone who has a following, I have a responsibility to be honest and true to my, my, my viewers and followers and not to just shill something for the sake of making money. There's so many people out there who consider themselves influencers and they literally advertise products and shit that they have no idea if they're good. They don't care. They just take a paycheck for it. That's completely disrespectful to the people who, who watch their stuff every day. It really is. That's my opinion. You can disagree, but I feel that that's so disrespectful to say, oh... This is such a good product, buy it when you never even used it yourself. All you're trying to fucking do is make a cheap paycheck, right? So that's why I refuse to do it. How did that guy not get alerted? That was a good trick. These are the dumbest guys ever. Walk right through and kill them all. They're that stupid. Is this really happening? Chicken Man says, you know damn well the tractors would just attack any company you have a sponsorship with. And you're absolutely right. You're absolutely positive, positively right that it doesn't matter who I got a sponsorship with. They would just be harassed by these assholes anyway. So... Number one, I'm, no, I'm not the kind of person to take that kind of a paycheck. You know that. And number two, even when something's valid, they ruin it for me anyway. Like, for example, that Hori sponsorship that I had last year. Hori had sent me the uh, thumb pads for, or the controller adjustment for the Joy-Cons, essentially, for a Switch. I tried them for about three weeks. I loved it. Did a video on it. That was great. Now, Hori had said they wanted to send me other products. Okay? But if you guys don't remember, COVID happened. So COVID kind of screwed everything up, admittedly, okay? Um, but then... I don't think he died. But then, they mass-reported me, basically not mass-reported, but they mass-harassed me. All right, boy, let me try this again. I can't really say what I want to say. They mass-spammed Hori and all of their social media accounts with toxicity and negativity about me. Oh, Phil's a scammer. Oh, Phil's a shithead. He's a pedophile. He's this, he's that. Here's a million negative things about Phil. All right? I never heard from Hori again. Now, very well it could be that because of COVID, they scaled back all their campaigns, and they weren't interested in doing that kind of sponsorship with an influencer like me anymore. Or it could literally be they got so much negativity about me. As a result... It could very well be that they got so much negativity about me as a result of the shitheads harassing them on social media. They're like, all right, let's do the right thing. Let's just not bother Phil anymore. Let's not contact... Because they... Corey contacted me. I didn't contact them. They contacted me about the sponsorship opportunity, okay? So after likely being harassed en masse on social media about it, they said one of two things. Either because of COVID, we're not going to go through with these sponsorships anymore. Or it could have easily been, well, we tried it with Phil... He did a good job with the product, but sadly, all this harassment ain't worth it, so just don't talk to him ever again. And I haven't Phil heard it from dead. them. I can free them if I cut down the Mongols. I haven't heard from them in a year and a half. It was early uh, 2020 when they contacted me. And I haven't heard from them since. Since I got, like I said, since I got the, uh, Am I free? the pads for the Switch. That was it. You know? So... Is it Hori's fault? Absolutely not. I, I don't blame them. If you're going to get mass harassed on social media because you chose to have someone demo a product, why would you continue on with any kind of a further relationship? I don't blame them in the least. 
it's kind of messed up that I don't have opportunity to do any sponsorships, especially for products I stand by. Like, I loved those pads. Those pads are still attached to my Switch right now. You know, both my wife and I used them, loved them, and uh, I still recommend them. I still think that anyone should, should buy those pads if they're looking for a good pad for a Switch. That's a viable option. That didn't work at all. I thought that would explode. It didn't. <laughs> God damn it. Well, let me think about this. I have no arrows. This sucks. The black powder bombs don't have any distance to them. This sucks. Like, there's no way to do this without confronting them up front. Like, there's nothing to do here. I can't sneak up because the guy's on that guard post and I don't have any arrows. There's nothing I can do at all. <laughs> Why does it use this? Oh, that was the wrong guy. <laughs> At least I got an arrow. Here we go. Oh, nice. Eight heavy arrows and 16 regular arrows. Now I'm back in business. Good. Yeah, I agree, Ergo Proxy. He says he bought the Hori split pad. It's a good controller. It's it's significantly a great improvement over the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons suck shit. But that controller is significantly good. It feels so very comfy in your hands. That's what I really like about it. It's very comfortable. So what am I doing? Oh, there's more assholes over here? Really happening? No. It's all just fantasy. <laughs> Me with Fene? We were before the eagle captured us. What are you? Some kind of samurai? I'm a friend. Your boss sent me to free her crew and take back Fort Sakai. The eagle may be gone, but she left her commander in charge. Kunbish is torturing prisoners, breaking us down before we're forced to drink the eagle's poison. Then he won't leave this fort alive. Go. Report back to Fune. I can fight. I will fight. Find a weapon and join me. No, see, only if you're a desert, do you think there would be any company that would be willing to, to, to risk it? To have a sponsorship with me? No! Here's the thing. Here's how sponsorships and marketing work, okay? You have to have a situation where you feel the exposure your product or service will get by having a sponsorship deal is going to give you enough positive to outweigh any negative. All right, now, let's say right now, there's a new controller for the console, and someone sends me the controller, and I test, oh, it's great. They may sell, what, a couple hundred controllers tops as a result of my sponsorship, but then, if for two straight weeks, assholes harass their social media, they can't even use their social media because all there is is toxic comments to everything they say and do, the couple hundred sales, did it really equate to having that happen, right? You know what I'm saying? And... That's the thing is, the people who criticize me the harshest, okay, the har most harsh criticism that I hear is, Phil streams, he talks too much about money, and he asks too much from his viewers. When Phil has an issue with money, he appeals to his viewers for it, and that's not right, right? Everyone else has a job, they earn their money, but Phil doesn't earn, he just begs on stream, okay? But here's the thing, if it weren't for those very same people who harass any sponsorship opportunity I've ever had to make them go away, Right? Products that I would stand by. Games. For example, I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey already on Twitch. I already had a playthrough going. I liked the game. I did a sponsored stream of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay? Made money doing it. And then guess what they did? They went and harassed Ubisoft. 
and the game developers of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and they got me blacklisted from that campaign, so I could never do a sponsored stream ever again on Twitch. That's exactly what happened. So, you're telling me I'm bad for every time that I need some help to appeal to my viewers, yet all the opportunities I had to make money outside of that, you shut down through your own harassment. So the ultimate hypocrites there are them. It's not that they have any valid criticism of me at all. They just want me to fail no matter what. They want to shut down my opportunities to be successful outside of making revenue on a stream, but then if I try to make revenue on a stream, they criticize me and say it's begging. You can't have it both ways. If you think that me sitting here and, and appealing to my viewership and saying, hey, I need some help is bad, then don't shut down the opportunities that I have outside of it. If I have an opportunity for a sponsorship, don't go harass Hori. Don't go harass a game developer. Don't go harass whatever other company it may be. Let them judge for themselves whether or not they want to have me legitimately as a part of their campaign. All right? But that's the thing is that they won't do that. They want to, sh to harass me in every situation. In any way, any avenue that I have to get ahead or, or make out or have, have success, they want to shut it down, but then they blame me when I have to seek other ways to, 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 to make ends meet. I would not be in the situations I'm in right now if it weren't for their constant online harassment. Seriously, do you really feel that I would have lost my Twitch sponsorship if I didn't have that, that huge group of trolls harassing me constantly? Really? If I was just a normal guy with a normal following on Twitch, do you really think I would have lost the partnership? Really? Of course not. Because it's these shitheads who harass me constantly that put me into these situations. Right? If I had a bunch of sponsorships right now from a drink a drink company because I drink their drink on stream all the time, maybe some clothing company because I wear their shirts on stream, uh, you know, controllers and stuff that I use, my, my, my headphones, right? All these are opportun sponsorship opportunities everyone else gets. I can't get them. So I can't make a living doing this through sponsorships. So then I appeal to my viewers, oh, that's begging, that's bad. No, it's your fucking fault. You idiots who criticize me are the same ones who do the fucked up illegal trolling actions that make me have to do that. It's your fault. You are the ultimate hypocrites. You're the scumbags, you're the losers, you're the ones who create the situation that then you complain about after. It's you. So grow the fuck up. Same reason why people say to me, Phil, why won't your wife be on your streams? Well, when she tried to be on my streams in 2018, when she moved in with me, everyone harassed her. There were every time she showed up, things about her looks, things about her past that have nothing to do with her being on my stream, constant online harassment, to the point where after being on my stream three times, she never wanted to be on my streams ever again. Who are the people who are the, are, oh my God, I can't believe she won't be on the stream. Them, the same fucking people who mass harassed her are the people who want her on the streams back. It's like, you can't have it both ways. You're the shitheads who did it, <clears throat> but then you don't want to live with the repercussions of your actions. It's like, you're, you want to talk about being the ultimate dumb fuck hypocrites. I know. That's who these people are, okay? You know, and there's nothing I can do to stop them from doing the heinous actions they do. I wish. I wish there was a way, but I can't. I can't stop. That, that social media is a free and open medium, right? I can't stop them from harassing the sponsor. So that's why I, I am where I am. Made it to another. But I'm supposed to, uh, now I'm supposed to be responsible for everything, right? I'll take responsibility for the things I fucked up over the years. I know I've said and done things that were stupid. I know I've made bad decisions, especially financial decisions. I'm not that dumb. I will always take responsibility for the bad stuff I do. But there's no fucking way anyone with a rational mind can look at what I've been through in the last five, six years and say, that's all on Phil. You're out of your mind. Every opportunity I have to flip stuff and make stuff better, those people ruin it. And there's nothing I can do about it because they're online, they're anonymous, and there's no repercussions for breaking the law online for the kind of stuff that they did. It's terrible, you know. Um, there's just nothing I can do about it. So that's why I have to appeal to you guys and say, hey, please, let's get the membership goal going for this month. Please, can you tip me today? You know, yeah, because that's how I make my whole living. Because I'm not afforded the opportunities every other content creator gets because of the online harassment. They create the situation, then they complain about the result. You created that, not me. I would love right now to be using a sponsored controller that I enjoy, drinking a sponsored drink that I really like, and doing all this stuff. I can't do it because of you, the shitheads. That's why. <laughs> the scumbags who are out there and have no lives, you know. But it's just ridiculous, you know. It's absolutely ridiculous that, oh, it's all on Phil. Sure it is, right? Sure. It's my, it's totally my fault, right? I've done everything wrong completely. I never did a thing right. If that were the case, then I would have zero viewers and zero followers. Seriously, I would have no one who supports me. 
I would have absolutely no support at all on any of my streams if it really were the case. The problem is these people don't want to admit that they've been wrong for years. They're the ones who create the situation. Because if they look in the mirror and have to see for themselves how bad they are as people, they could never live with it. They'd have this fucking moment of epiphany of, oh my god, I'm a scumbag. I've been wasting all this time in my life. And they don't want to see, they don't want to see the harsh reality of how bad they are, how miserable people they are. So instead, they have to completely make shit up and circle jerk each other on the internet to make themselves feel good about themselves. It's terrible. <clears throat> All right, Always Hot T, you're permanently banned because you're an asshole. Go fuck yourself. I'm not even going to say what he said because he's such an idiot. I'm just not going to put up with their bullshit anymore, really. <laughs> Danny plays, if it feels like you're being scolded, it's because you feel guilty. Seriously. I'm not scolding anyone who's a regular viewer, who's a positive supporter. I'm scolding shitheads that who harass me online regularly. That's who I'm scolding. Like, literally, none of the people who would come to a regular playthrough, who would be a part of the positive conversation, who would support a stream, or anyone who I'm addressing right now. My long-standing viewers know I'm not talking to them. Because they've been along for the ride. They've seen the harassment grow and grow and grow over the years. They're not dumb. Only dumbasses would actually think that I'm talking to them because they're the ones who do that shit. You see? If you've participated in the online harassment, yes, I'm addressing you. You're a scumbag. You need to wake the fuck up. That's why I am where I am right now. Right now, I'm on a live stream. I got $21 in tips out of a goal of 150 that I literally need to make ends meet. How do you think that makes me feel? Right? Do I want to sit here and be like, guys, please amp up the support? No. I just want to play the game and enjoy it and have fun. But I'm not allowed to do that. Because I have to worry about my business because I can't get the support I need because I can't have these outside relationships because of the scumbags. You know? That sucks shit. This really feels terrible. I don't like being put into this position. I don't want to bring up every half an hour, oh, by the way, let's hit that tip skull. Oh, by the way, let's get the members going. No, I don't want to do that at all. I have to do that because of the shitheads. Here we go. So this is good because this gives me the opportunity to ban a bunch of shitheads. It's perfect. And yes, you're absolutely right. I am allowed to vent on my own stream. That's the fucking point. The whole that point of having an interactive, personable stream is that I get to do this. Rather than, I could go back to my old style. My old style, I don't interact with you guys at all. I ignore everything you're saying. And I just pretend like I'm playing the game offline. And I did that for many, many years. People got tired of it, you know? People were outright just 100% tired of that. And they wanted to see me become an interactive streamer, which is when I changed to do stuff like I'm doing right now. You can't have it both ways. You can't. You can't, you can't have, oh, I wish you would just play the game. Well, I already did that for many years. People complained. They were tired of it. They want interactive fill. Now you get interactive fill, but some people don't want interactive fill because then when they, I get a discussion like this, all of a sudden they realize how, what shitheads they are. And they're, oh, shit. I just sat there and crapped on Phil nonstop, and I harassed his sponsors, and I harassed his wife. Oh, man, I really am a scumbag, but I don't want to hear that. So now let's say it's Phil's fault. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. <clears throat> do I think that the trolls will ever get tired of it? Some people do. Some people over time, they, they wise up. They grow up and they, they basically become smarter and, and, and more mature. And they realize all that wasted time is not worth it at all. They realize that, okay? But I can't make everyone realize that. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Snow Carl... You're absolutely wrong. I don't know why you're saying that. You're saying the tips link doesn't work? Yes, it does. I just clicked on it and it works. <laughs> so what are you talking about? It literally just worked. I just clicked on it. Ugh. This was over. Yeah, unless some people are saying it works. So I don't know what you're talking about. I just clicked on the link and it worked fine. It loaded for me perfectly. The 
I took it out of me. Uh. It's not much longer. Well, let me.